Hey, um, it's early. I just figured I would do a, uh, a musical show and tell just to kind of make another entry into this whatever the fuck journal of Rabbi Talks About Whatever the Fuck for 10 minutes of fuck you and thanks for watching. So, this is uh, one, I met this fella a couple times, really good cat, he's a little bit younger than me, really, uh, man, full of confrontation, and really talented, like really driven, uh, hard to follow sometimes, he's all over the place, but he was really motivated, you could tell that his want to be creative and to be authentic was genuine. Um, he kind of thought he was black. I didn't really care. It doesn't matter. Um, uh, he was really skilled in uh, like R and B. He was really good at flow. He was really good with keyboards. He was a he was a good rapper. I didn't hear much of him doing much singing or hooking, but his flow was amazing, and he was really good with the keyboards. And I think that it was all by experimentation. I don't think that he knew shit about music theory or had any uh, rudimentary training. I think that he was just a, a dude that fucking had a keyboard and he just jammed on it and played with it until he knew how to make music. And that is a style of music making that I always respect because it is straight up just experimentation. And this kid had that. He had that in spades. What he didn't have was discipline, um, which sucks. Like, I ended up kind of just dwindling a little bit because every time that I'd be like, yeah, dude, let's get together and make music and fucking I'll bring over a bottle of whiskey and I'll watch you do fucking graffiti bong hits. And we would get annihilated and fucking work on tracks. And, like, sometimes you, there's some kinds of music where there's some types of sessions where you're just getting wrecked and working on shit and seeing what happens. There's some types of work where the work is a little bit more pristine or a little bit more uh, delicate, and you really want to be on top of your game, but sometimes it's just like, drug-induced drum beats, dude, let's fucking go all at it, and see what happens, see what fucking just throw everything at the wall, and let's just, woo, and um, that was, a lot of those sessions were like that with him, I brought over my tube exciter, my saturator, I pre, er, oh, I'm not going to give you any advertisements, because fuck commercials, Anyways, I was really, um, I was really becoming in love with the idea of tube preamp, uh, modulation. Like, it really, tube excitation really sort of brings the sparkle and shine out of a, a, a microphone signal. It, without simply tweaking the high end, you can bring a sparkle out of the entire spectrum by sort of, um, what it does is it enhances the perfect fifth or of harmonies of all of the um, frequencies within that and it ends up with this really shiny excitation sound without it actually changing the overall shape of the EQ. It's a really beautiful sort of effect or modulation and I decided that I was inve I was investigating it at that time and I brought it over to his place and uh, which was nearby and he had a nice microphone he had a uh, blank blah 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 seven hundred dollar microphone that i really was jealous of but i brought over my awesome tube exciter and we laid down some vocal tracks over we we jammed around and we came up with some instrumental like loops and stuff that we wanted to try out and i really wanted to get him to lay down some flow with this fucking sweet microphone setup that we were able to sort of piece together with our combined equipment and uh and fucking I really like this jam because we achieved some sweet low end. We were using Ableton. Uh, fuck. We were using a DAW that was kind of designed for both producers and live DJs, but I also like to use it as a workaround for a digital, a digital audio workstationing. And it's not the most obvious way to do it, to conduct your sessions. It's not quite like other DAWs, but it is um, very powerful, very capable with MIDI, and very friendly with toys that you want to throw at it. So, but I worked with this kid and fucking, and I didn't really work with, I haven't worked with a ton of hip hop producers. I worked with the SKA studios down, uh, down in Lawndale and Chi Town. Those guys are fucking, I'll tell you a story about them soon too. Cause fucking those guys are amazing. But, um, 
No, I'm just kidding. Just a little bit closer to home. And he was a fucking good rapper. And I'm going to show you this track that we worked on. Affectionately called Towel Records. It was a track that we never finished. But his flows are great. I guess I'll just watch it flow. Yo, all those years, all those nights, all those tears, all them fights Almost there, but I'm almost not, almost there, but I'm almost not All those fears, all those cries, all those years, all those nights Almost there, but I'm almost not, almost there, but I'm almost not I felt my pride, but the sky wrote truth and curse it, man, I withered inside I feel it in time, but I'm so nervous, cause this word is sacred I'm burning pages like it's herb, got that purple haze in. I earn my wages, that shit worse it, now I... enjoyed working on that track it has a unique sound we kind of hey, we were kind of grooved on some elements of like kind of uh ethereal hip-hop sounds and trip-hop and uh more like sample based style composition and we uh it was we tried to keep it more organic and you can kind of hear like we didn't finish up a lot of the lyrical composition and we kind of like the hook wasn't that uh expressive it seemed like we were just spreading lyrically so far on the track if we ever get around to finishing it maybe whatever but developmentally right now the lyrical content is a little bit like a little not enough butter smeared across too much bread you know but um but i think that there's a lot of a lot of strength and the potential for making this thing kind of slam but i kind of like these darker poetic types of of tracks they just uh there's something that I like to jam when I'm when I'm sort of driving, you know, at high speeds on quiet highways. It's sort of they're pensive to me, and I enjoy that kind of music. And so I like, you know, whatever. But that was a good one, Zach Darnley, Towel Records. If I ever fucking get to catch up with you again, and you stop picking fights with people on Facebook. I'm kidding. You're never going to stop doing that. But anyways, I don't actually think that you think you're black. I was just giving you shit. Um, because that's something that you say to rappers to make them twitch. Anyways, fucking good tracks, man. And I like your microphone. I want a, a sweet microphone. Give me your microphone. And fuck you. Goodbye.